Hey guys, quick back Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about role of stacking and resolving gel in STS page. STS page is widely used for the separation of proteins. Here, the electrophoresis is carried out in vertical unit. The polymerization of STS page gel is inhibited by the presence of oxygen. Because of this reason, the polymerization reaction is carried out in between two closely spaced glass plates. This minimizes interference of atmospheric oxygen during polymerization process. The electrophoresis unit of SDS page has two tanks for the buffer. The glass plates with polymerized gel is placed vertically such that the top and the bottom of the gel remains in the contact with the buffer. The proteins can either have positive or negative charge depending on the amino acids present in it. The use of STS ensures that all the proteins present in the sample attains net negative charge. Because all the proteins in the sample has net negative charge, the negative electrode is placed on the top whereas the bottom has the positive electrode. When the electric field is switched on, the proteins move from negatively charged electrode to the positively charged electrode. Now because the size of well is around 1 cm, not all proteins enter the gel at the same time. As a result of this, the proteins will not be resolved and their identification after electrophoresis becomes difficult. To solve this problem, we have a stacking gel and a resolving gel. The stacking gel has a pH of 6.8, whereas the resolving gel has a pH of 8.8. .8. Both these pH are very important. At pH 6.8, glycine becomes a sweeter ion. This means it has net zero charge. Whereas at pH 8.8, .8, glycine has a negative charge. Now you must be thinking how does glycine come into picture? Well, glycine is a major component of the buffer used in STS page. Along with glycine, there are also chloride ions. Now the term stacking gel literally means it's gonna stack all the protein molecules. This stacking occurs between glycine and chloride ions. Here is how it works. Because the glycine molecules in the stacking gel have net zero charge, the glycine molecules will remain stationary under applied electric field. The protein molecules which have net negative charge due to STS tries to move from the top to the bottom of the gel. Because the glycine molecules are not moving, they act as a resistance for the protein molecules which are trying to move. Now there are also chloride ions in the buffer and chloride ions have a negative charge. Hence just like protein, chloride ions are also trying to move from the top to the bottom of the gel. In this situation, because the glycine molecules are not moving, they act as a barrier or a wall for the protein molecules. The chloride ions are continuously pushing protein molecules from behind. Hence, the protein molecules are sandwiched between glycine and chloride ions. This phenomenon is known as stacking of protein in stacking gel. The protein molecules gradually move forward in the stacking gel due to the push of chloride ions from behind. When they reach the resolving gel, something amazing happens. The resolving gel has a pH of 8.8. .8. At this pH, glycine will have net negative charge. As a result, glycine molecules start moving. At this stage, protein molecules are stacked in one line. Hence, when they travel through the resolving gel, they are separated according to the size and the resolution obtained is excellent.